Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Brahim Asanu, Director of Telecommunication Development Bureau of ITU, Excellencies, Distinguished Delegates, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mr. Chairman, first of all, allow me on behalf of the Indonesian government to express our sincere congratulations to you on your election as chairman of this conference. We believe that under your chairmanship, this conference should proceed smoothly to a fruitful conclusion for the setting of telecommunication policies, regulations, and development agenda across the world for the next five years. I wish also to convey my profound gratitude to the government of United Arab Emirates for excellently hosting this conference and for the warm hospitality extended to all of us. We would also like to extend our appreciation to BDT and the staffs of ITU for successfully organizing this very important conference. Your Excellencies, Distinguished Delegates, Indonesia is known to be among the world's highest growth of mobile subscribers during the past decades. However, our efforts to complete the digital switchover and reforming of spectrum to open the opportunity for the implementation of the LTE or the next generation broadband still remains as ongoing process. This conference is the moment in which we all call to set ITU's agenda for the policies and regulations for the development of a conducive ecosystem of broadband in global context. This ecosystem should also fulfill the requirements of quality and security accordingly. Therefore, please allow me to introduce the overarching topic, this policy statement, which is empowering people-to-people -people connectivity through developing of smart and open global platform network as part of the global communication ecosystem. We identify four keywords of this theme, access, quality of service, security, and empowerment. And we expected one outcome, which is improving the quality of life of the people of our countries. Your Excellencies, Distinguished Delegates, we recognize that global connectivity starts from people-to-people -people connectivity at a national level. In Indonesia's case, people-to-people -people connectivity has been acknowledged as a part of the presidential master plan for acceleration and expansion of Indonesia's economic development, which is then thoroughly reflected in the Indonesian broadband plan. Our approach to develop a strong domestic ecosystem has been met with a tremendous set of challenges. In terms of policies and regulation, the definition of network services open intermediation for ICT applications and quality and security aspects are essential. While the growth of local ICT applications is equally important, the requirements of quality and security should also be raised and maintained according to global standards. As we all know that a chain is only as strong as its weakest link, a conducive global connectivity ecosystem could only be materialized based on conducive ecosystems on domestic levels. Your Excellencies, Distinguished Delegates, security is an inseparable requirement of global connectivity. As we all have known, ITU and member states have initiated programs specifically to advance the global security agenda. On this note, Indonesia has already established a national internet incident response team since 2007, as well as a number of national regulations on internet security and lawful interceptions. In spite of this, we cannot further emphasize the importance of international cooperation regarding security of global connectivity. The ecosystem of a global open platform network relies heavily on security as well as mutual trust. The security framework of a global, smart and open platform network, along with its technical and business aspect, should be part of ITU's development agenda in the forthcoming years. We are confident that through international cooperations and collaborations, we should be able to facilitate development in both developed and developing member states. Your Excellencies, Distinguished Delegates, before I conclude my policy statement, I would like to underline that Indonesia has always been committed to the work of the ITU, which has been reflected in Indonesia's past and present contributions to the ITU and its consuls. Therefore, the government of Indonesia would like to invite the kind support of fellow member states towards our candidature for re-election as a member of ITU Council Region E. 
for the period of 2014-2018 at the forthcoming 14th ITU Plenipotentiary Conference in Busan, Republic of Korea in October this year. I thank you for your kind attention. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you.